this is Megan, AKA Just Run It. And I wanted to thank everybody for participating in the Excuse Me Cowl. If you've been following along on the weeks, you've got yourself a half finished object, a hoe. Um, this is a skew that I knit for my husband out of Leading Men Fiber Arts in their spotlight base. Um, it is uh, BFL and it's Fox Says What. Um, as you can see where you've just got done kitchenering the heel stitches, you've got a tail going on here and um, hopefully you heeded the designers and my warning that you shouldn't pick up any stitches there because it kind of ruins the, the structural lines. Um, anytime you've got stitches where you're joining back in the round and there's nothing supporting them underneath, there's, there's definitely this propensity to have a hole because some of the excess yarn gets, it pools there basically, it gets pulled because there's no stitches supporting it. Um, plus you, you were working um, over here and these stitches were getting jostled. So I'm going to show you how I use the end to kind of, um, to kind of faux graft these two together, um, kind of seam them together and then do some zhuzhing. So um, the, the tail up here is high from the, the stockinette or from the grafting, the kitchenering. So I go low and pick up these two arms and pull the yarn through. And then I go back high here and pull the yarn back through. And then you go in here, kind of sideways, because there is no more lower stitches and you can pull it through there. And then I would just bring it back to the other side for securing. Um, because this is a grafted, you've, you've created a grafted fabric here, you want to make sure that you really secure it, whether or not you're doing that duplicate stitch or the, um, or however you weave in your ends. Make sure that you're doing it for a greater distance because the it's going to get tugged on a little bit as the sock is worn. And then if you've got any elongated stitches, so you can see here this black stitch is a little bit, I call this retensioning or zhuzhing. Um, you just kind of pull on the leg and follow where it's going across and work that tension out away from where your gape was. Um, you can do this on any fabric. Um, I taught a class about it at the last ZK um, and you can see it tightened up there a little bit. If you had a red stitch that you felt was, you could work it the other direction as well away. Sorry if I was off camera there a little bit. I'm trying to look through the camera lens and through here. And then you've got an, a, a pretty nice, I guess this one, this red one probably could be zhuzhed a little bit. Um, you've got a pretty nice little secured down structural lines maintained um, place where that hole used to be. Uh, hopefully that helps. And as always, go out to the forums and comment, um, ask questions. If, if that doesn't work for you or you have a better technique, definitely weigh in. And um, Happy skew knitting. Bye, Ufta.